Salakia, Salakia. So let's pick back up in the book of Sirach, better known as the book of Ecclesiasticus, the 36th chapter. And let's go from the second verse on. And it reads as such. And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. And uh, I read the book of Psalms, the 14th chapter, which talks about these nations, you know, none of them doeth good, you know. Let's go to Psalms 14 and 2. Yeah, let's just go to 14 and 1 from the top. The fool has set in his heart. That fool is being Esau, Edom, you know. There is no power. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. And that fool is referring to the heathen nations, starting with Esau, Edom, you know, at the top of those heathen nations, better yet. The fool has said in his heart, there is no power. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. Abominable works, it's like it. There is none that doeth good. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashad, looked down from heaven upon the children of men, being the heathen nations who Esau, Edom is the head of, to see if there were any that did understand and seek the Mosai. And none of them seek Yahweh Bashim Yashad. Because none of them understand. Daniel 12 and 10. Psalms 14 and 3. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. Salakia, once again. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, not one. So not one of these Edomites does good, or these heathen nations does good, man, in the sight, in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. <sighs> Sirach, the 36th chapter. And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. All 17 nations, man, you know? You know including the two-thirds, which is another nation, you know? Because they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Let's just get that. Romans 9 and 6. So like it. Romans 9 and 6. Just to back that point up. Oh, man. Come on. It's so like it's a little cold out where I'm at. So. Romans 9 and 6. Not as though. The word of the Most High had taken none effect. Not as though the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai had taken none effect. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. So not all Israel is Israel. In the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. The two thirds are another nation. They got to be purged out and be brought back through the loins of the elect, through the loins of the of the remnant. They have to be regenerated in the kingdom. Those Israelites that don't understand the new song in its pureness, that don't believe the report. Sirach 36 and 3, lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. Those strange nations are the heathen nations, you know? As well as the two thirds, which are another nation, you know? As thou was sanctified in us before them, be thou magnified among them before us. <clears throat> Salakia. And let them know thee as we have known thee. That there is no power but only thou, O Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. And let them know thee as we have known thee. And that's what you're going to realize, you know, you heathen nations, is that there is no power but Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. You're going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahashai is the one that took down modern day Egypt, Babylon the Great, Exodus 7 to 5 again. And the Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahashai when I stretch forth mine hand upon Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. You're going to know who Yahweh Bashim Yahashai is. Let them know thee as we, as we have known thee. Show new signs and make other strange wonders Glorify thy hand and thy right arm. Yahweh Shai, thy hand and thy right arm, which a lot of you men who claim you're in the truth aren't glorifying, you know? Which is another lesson, but hey, you know, spirit wants it to come out. Sirach 36 and 6. And 
and Salakia once again. Serac 36 and 6. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm. That they may set forth thy wonder, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. And Salakia got, you know, people singing idolatrous songs like happy birthday in the background, but hey, it is what it is. Serac 36 and 6 again from the top. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works, which is going to happen. You know, Yahweh Shai cracks the sky. That's going to be a sign of the wonder uh, and, and wondrous works and a great deliverance, man, and great destruction of Babylon the Great. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy, which we're praying to Yahweh Shimei Shai for him to do every day. Make the time short. Sake the time short. The next precept goes into that. Sake the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. You know? Let them declare thy wonderful works. Who? The prophets. You know? Before they happen. Let's just get the classic since we're bringing it up. Jeremiah 28 and 8. Uh, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophets prophesied against those countries, man, of war and of evil, uh, and, of evil and of pestilence. You know, they weren't with, you know, Babylon, ancient Babylon. They weren't down with the Assyrians. You know, Jeremiah was prophesying against the Babylonians, man. You know? The apostles were prophesying against the Roman kingdom, man. You know? The prophets that were living in the Greek captivity. Prophesied against it. You know? The prophets that lived in the time, you know, of the Egyptians. Prophesied against that kingdom. You know? Moses and Aaron. Jeremiah 28 and 8 again from the top. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Isn't America a great kingdom? Of war. Well, America is the biggest warmonger, you know, on the earth right now. Embassies set up in all countries, you know, military bases set up in all countries. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You know, the most evil kingdom ever erected, Babylon the Great, the mother of abominations, you know. And what do you have in Babylon the Great? A pestilence, you know. Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently. And who answered? Ezra. Ezra says the Greek way of saying Ezra. Uriel. The angel, you know. Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me, Uriel being one of the uh, seven holy angels, you know. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, what signs? The prophecies. Also, things like this happening. Blood moons. You know? Nation against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. Them setting up and issuing unrighteous decrees. You know? Them looking to push the MOTB. Measure thou the time diligently. Oh, shoot. Salakia, phone almost fell down. Salakia, Salakia, once again. And how do Yahweh Shimei Shai speak these things? Through the prophets. Hebrews 1 and 1. Salakia. Yahweh Shimei Shai, who at sundry times and in diverse manners, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. That's how things were said, you know, 
by the prophets. 1 Samuel 9 and 9. Let's just get it. 1 Samuel 9 and 9. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of Yahweh Shimei Shai, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. So the prophets were called seers because they were able to see things coming up on the horizon. You know, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Luke 1 and 70. Just to back up that point. Just to get 68. Yep. Down to 70. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, power of Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. That's a possessive statement. He didn't say he would, you know, he's visited and redeemed everybody. He's visited and redeemed his people. Like it once again. Luke 1 and 68, blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and had raised up an horn of salvation. Who's that horn of salvation? Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, whose name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. That horn of salvation. You know? The Redeemer, the deliverer, the author and finisher of our faith. You know? Luke 1 and 69, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for the house, it's like and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us. There goes that word us again, you know? Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he had, for he had visited and redeemed his people. He had raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. His servant David, you know? Beautiful. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. His holy prophets, that's how he speaks, through the mouth of the prophets, you know? Hebrews 1 and 1. Yahweh Bashim Yashai had sundry times, spake by the, let's just get it, let's just not quote it, it's like it. It's like it, it's like it, it's like it. Let's not butcher it, let's just get it. Hebrews 1 and 1, it just came out a little while ago. Yahweh Bashim Yashai, who at sundry times in a diverse manners, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets that's how who you call the world who who the world called god speaks through the mouth of his holy prophets you know and what do they speak the word you know the word is yahweh shai you know the comforter comfort one another with these words second Ezra 9 and 1 he answered me who Uriel, one of the seven holy angels, you know, talking to Ezra. Ezra is the Greek way of saying Ezra. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, the prophecies. It's like it once again. Second Ezra 9 and 2. Then shall thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And Yahweh Bashim Yashai is visiting this world. You know? The angels, the prophecies, the prophets. Second Ezra 9 and 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, which you have happening right now, earthquakes at an all time high. You have uproars of the people happening right now as we as you listen to this lesson. Somebody's out there tearing up a city because of this verdict, man. You know? All signs that were in the end times. As well as the other signs. Blood moons. You know? Them looking to introduce the karagma. You know, the MOTB. You know? And a plethora of other signs. Second Ezra 9 and 4, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. How did he speak of those things? The prophets. Even from the beginning. For as like 
as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end. And the end, <laughs> the end has come. The end, it watches for thee. Let's just, let's just get it. Let's not butcher it. Ezekiel, the seventh chapter. Oh, it's Exodus, lucky. Uh, Ezekiel 7 and 5 Thus said Adawani Yahweh I shall power And evil And only evil Behold is come An end is come The end is come It watcheth for thee Behold it is come The end is come It is not Second Ezra 9 and 5 For like is all that is made in the world Hath a beginning and an end And the end is manifest The end is here It's right in the horizon man you can see it by the signs happening, the prophecies. Even so, the times also of the highest had plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Show new signs, you know? What your Yahweh Shemi Asha is doing. Like it once again. Second Ezra 9 and 6 again from the top. <clears throat> Even so, the times also of the highest have, pl have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Plain endings, you know? Let's read it again. It's beautiful. Even so, the times also of the highest, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Plagues, you know, prophecies coming to pass. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter and the 14th verse. All thy lovers have forgotten thee and they seek thee not for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. And that's how we were wounded, with the wound of an enemy, Esau, Edom. You know, taking us into captivity after captivity after captivity. You know, the Greeks, the, the Romans, and then Rome 2.0, the Greco-Roman Empire, the revitalized, you know, Roman Empire, the beast, which we're living in the belly of, you know, Babylon the Great. Jeremiah 30 and 14, all thy lovers have forgotten thee, they seek thee not. I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thy iniquity because thy sins were increased. We went off. We broke the covenant. You know? We went against the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. So we had to be punished for it. You know? We broke the contract. We transgressed. Jeremiah 30 and 14. Jer Jeremiah 30 and 15. And you can read about the punishment for breaking the contract in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. You know, 15 through 68. Jeremiah 30 and 15, why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is uncurable, thy sorrow is uncurable for the multitude of thine iniquity because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. What? Discontinue those from my heritage temporarily. Jeremiah 17 and 5 for 350 years. Captivity after captivity after captivity. Chattel slavery. You know, being called bywords and proverbs, being in the bottom of society. But all that's set to come to an end. The end has come. And part of the end coming is rulership, which these heathen nations don't want us to have. But it's coming, whether they were here or forbear, you know. They're going to know that a prophet had been among them because we're proclaiming this before it happens. You know, the saints shall take the kingdom. Jeremiah 30 and 15, why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is uncurable for the multitude of thy iniquity because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All you heathens are going to catch it, man. You know, you're going to be the brunt of the joke. You know, when Yahweh when you howl me on shy, lets Yahweh shy cracks the clouds, man. You know. All those that devour thee you're going to be devoured, man. Jeremiah 30 and 16, therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, who's the adversaries of Israel? Read Psalms, the 83rd chapter. You know? 
all 17 nations outside of Israel are the adversaries of Israel. Ugh. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. That's what the scriptures say, man. You know? That's what the scriptures say. That's what the text says. So, hey, it is what it is. You know? And rightfully so. Therefore, all thy that devour thee shall be devoured. All thy adversaries, every one of them, Esau, Edom, so-called white men, you know? Moab, so-called Chinese, Ishmael, so-called Arabs, you know? The descendants of Ham, you doo-doo stinking ass Africans, man, you know? All thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Tyree, Zidon, you know? All, all of y'all, man. Japheth, you know? Us, big Us in them. The, the so-called Samo, the so Samoans, Polynesians, Pacific Islanders, all of y'all are going into captivity, man. Every one of them, let me start from the top. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. That's your future. That's your fortune cookie right there. And all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. And spoils, that's what you get, you know, when you conquer somebody, man. Spoils of war, you know? You're going to be a spoil. What's it, what's it say in the book of Thessalonians? Second Thessalonians. I think I'll wrap up. Final precepts coming out. Second Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a good thing with Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. It's a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation, you know, to them that trouble you. And didn't these nations trouble us? You know? Didn't they laugh at our calamity? You know? Walking by, you know? They laugh at you at camp. Laugh because you're you're the first hired. You're the you're the you're the uh, last hired, first fire. You know? They make these uh you know, these uh, GoFundMe's whenever a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American gets gunned down by one of their police, or you're gonna be you're gonna be the brunt of the joke, man. You're gonna be the bottom, you know? You're gonna drink the dregs of the cup of slavery, man. Luke 21 and 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon distress. Slacky, I'm gonna start from the top. I got a little excited. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring and don't we see signs in the sun and in the moon you know blood moon last night that's a sign right there these drastic measures that they're looking to push you know silencing people who have an adverse opinion about the yo jabba jabba juice kool-aid you know saying that uh you're a, a domestic terrorist if you're a concerned parent you know, you don't want your children getting the dragon Kool-Aid, you know? Well, those are signs as well. You know, Esau Edom so diabolical. This nigga, he's coming after his own people, man. He's going to kill a lot of his own people, you know? That's end time prophecy as well, you know? Revelation 12 and 12, let's just get it. Revelation 12 and 12. <clears throat> yep. That's 13, so lucky. It's a little cold out here, so these, these buttons ain't working like they normally work. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens. Now, who's the heavens? The elect. For the kingdom of heaven is within you. You know? 
the spiritual the, the uh, spiritual temple of believers, you know, which isn't a physical temple because if it was the physical temple, Esau Edom would try to sack it like he did the first two temples. The first temple he sacked with the Babylonians, and the second temple he sacked he sacked in 70 A.D. And then we were chased out of Jerusalem into West Africa, into North Africa, and we fled into West Africa, where we settled. And then he rounded us up again in the late teen, in the late uh, in the early 1500s, you know, late 1500s. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and the only ones rejoicing at the destruction of this wicked queendom is the elect, man. We can't wait till the famine hits. These people, ribs are touching, man. You know, people see these people eating their kids and shit, man. That's going to happen, just like it happened before. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. The sea being the people. And, the, you know, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. All you heathen nations, you know, outside of the elect, you know. Woe unto you. Woe means destruction. Why? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil, that devil is talking about a nation of people. Esau, Edom, Shatan, the adversary, the deceiver, you know. And Yahweh Bashim Yashai is destroying the covering cast of, let's just get it as well, Isaiah 25 and 7. Because a part of the truth, a part of the end time prophecies is Yahweh Bashim Yashai de destroying the covering cast of the nations of people. Through the prophets, you're learning who the nations of people are. You know, Esau, Edom, you know, Ham, Moab, Ammon. Those are the biblical nationalities of people. Those biblical nationalities didn't go away. The 195 nations that the UN recognizes are all bullshit nations in the form of bullshit nationalities. You know, Isaiah 25 and 7, and he will destroy in this mountain, in this government, the face of the covering cast over all people. The face of the covering cast over all peoples, all these nationalities that people identify themselves as. You know, oh, um, you know, m my father's from Ireland, so on and so forth. You're Edomite. You're from the nation of Edom, you know. And I need, now you're going to have Israelites spread amongst all these heathen nations who look like them. But if you're from Europe and your people descend from Europe, will you go back to the Caucasus Mountains, man? And that's where Esau Edom fled, you know, during the, th during the thousand years that he was bound. It talks, about in the it talks about that in the book of Revelation, the 20th chapter. And Satan was bound. The adversary, Shatan, the devil. Isaiah 25 and 7, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. That veil is that nationality that they tell you you are. Who, who tells you you are? Esau Edom. Lucky. Last few precepts. I think I'm going to wrap on up. Uh, Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations. What you have right now. <laughs> you know, you have um, the 1948ers, the tribe of Amalek, who's occupying the Holy Land, calling themselves us, but they don't know who the other 11 tribes are. Well, that's not biblical, my man. You know? It talks about who you are and how you got that land in the book of Joel, the third chapter, and Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, you know? Luke 21 and 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations. You got Amalek, you know, bombing the, the towel heads over there. You got those towel heads mad, man, you know? And it's only a matter of time before they bomb back. And when they bomb back, America, Babylon the Great is going to get dragged into that war. And then Yahweh Bashim Yashai is going to, call, going to cause all those nations to go to the Valley of Yahweh Shapat, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which these, you know, non, non, these uh, people who are non-scholars call it, you know, which is actually it's called the Valley of Yahweh Shapat, you know, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the Paleo-Hebrew and Shapat meaning judgment, you know. Or he's going to judge those nations and those armies, burn them up, you know?
Luke 21 and 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth's distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's heart failing them for fear. For fear of what? <laughs> you know, the sword, famine, death, destruction, which is coming to Babylon the Great and the whole world. You know, men's heart failing them for fear for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. The swore, famine, death, destruction, you know? And you're going to have a lot of people's hearts failing because they took that juice. They took that dragon Kool-Aid, you know? And there's a lot of people who are taking that, who are taking that shit, who are dropping, man. You know? Never trust thy enemy. Who will pity a charmer that is bit by a serpent? Not one member of the house of David. Not one tear will be not one tear will be shed. You know we're gonna laugh at those stupid dummies for taking that man. Luke twenty one and twenty six because it goes against the law, statutes, the commandments. See how about Shimei Shai? You're not supposed to make any cuttings in your flesh. The book of Leviticus talks about that, and you're not supposed to trust your enemy. You know, nor you're not supposed to consult with magi or sorcerers. You know, which these physicians don't know how you are in lab coats. You know. Luke 21 and 26, men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. How? When the ICBM missiles hit. Babylon the Great, America, the earth's going to reel to and fro like a drunkard. Like it talks about in Isaiah, the, the I want to say it's the 14th chapter. Let's just get it. It might be the 24th chapter. Let me see if I can find it. Isaiah might be 24. I want to say it's the 14th chapter. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it's 24. It's lucky. Isaiah 24 and 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like the cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and shall not fall and not rise again. Esau, eat him. <laughs> you're through. You're done. You're out of here. The earth's going to reel to and fro like a drunkard when the ICBMs hit this place, man. You know? For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Earth's going to reel to and fro like a drunkard. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming with a cloud. It's like it. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. That's how the Heavenly Father's Son's going to come. You know? In a cloud. Which clouds are, are the chariots. You know? Let's just prove that real quick. Psalms 104 and 3. Let's just get uh, let's get right to the point. One oh yeah yeah. I'll get the whole thing. Psalms one oh four and one. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. O my soul, O Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. My power, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light, as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Who layeth up the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot. And the chariots, those are the chariots of salvation, the vehicles of salvation for the nation of Israel. And the chariots are what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, you know, through their ignorance and through the deceit of the devil. You saw Edom, Shaitan, lying, you know. That's why he has space for us, because he actually plans on fighting the Lord when he returns. He's going to lose terribly, you know? It's going to be a flawless victory. That right hand is going to KO Esau Edom. Can't wait to see it. Call out Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Adon Rathazai, Yahweh Rathazai, get to see it. So, Rack 25 and 7. There be nine things, you know, which I have judged in my heart, and the tenth I will utter with my teeth. You know, he that had joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Psalms 104 and 3, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So the clouds are the chariots, you know. Ugh. Luke 21 and 27, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud, in a chariot, with power and great glory. Who is it that cometh from Edom with die garments from Basra? Glorious in his apparel, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Die garments from Basra, you know? 
parabolically talking about all the death that's going to happen when the Lord returns, you know? Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Amos 5 and 18. For the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is darkness and not light. And he's going <laughs> to, who is it that, who is it that coming from Edom? Who is it that coming from Edom? He's going to visit Edom, man. And rightfully so. Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, what? The prophecy, signs, wonders. Then look up and lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. And our redemption draws nigh. You know? So with that, I'd like to close on out. And in closing, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakhak Wadash. Double honors to the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. Shalom to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to all the sincere Akiam and Akwath who do subscribe to this truth. The hearty Shalom to the men out there on the highways and byways, highways and hedges, preaching and teaching the truth and sincerity, risking their lives and risking their freedom now more so than ever, especially in these times making their bodies a living sacrifice out there on the highways and byways highways and hedges in the cheap place of concourse with the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ which is the spirit of prophecy which allows those men to go into the scriptures and bring out understanding on a high level and edification on a high level and last but not least a hearty shalom to the men of Valley Camp New Jersey NYC South Carolina Las Vegas, San Antonio, the DTA camp as well, Philly, Baltimore, Jersey, NYC, Atlanta, the first camps I ever heard the truth from, Isaiah 62, verses 6 through 7. Ye that make mission of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, keep not silence and give him no rest day or night to Jerusalem is the praise in the earth. So, Adon Rathazah, Yahweh Rathazah, that means Lord's will. This lesson was edifying. That's what it's all about. Let all things be done unto edifying and to edification and until next time Lord's will tomorrow the spirit allows Shalom DTA Ababa Ball soon 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 Shalom